Hello and welcome to the news this week. First up is a story about Planet Nine. Now, we already know that the orbits of the solar system's outer planets indicate that there might be a missing planet orbiting our solar system. The likelihood is that this planet has a very unusual orbit. Speculation is that this may have been caused by a rogue star disturbing the orbits of the planets in the solar system a very long time ago. Astronomers at Berkeley and Stanford University think that they might have found a smoking gun. A planet orbiting a young binary star may have been perturbed by another pair of stars that skated too close to the system about two to three million years ago, soon after the planet formed from a swirling disk of dust and gas. Now, if this is confirmed, this bolsters the argument that close stellar misses help sculpt planetary systems and may determine whether or not they harbour planets with stable orbits. Now we've covered Ultima Thule uh, quite a few times uh, and in this particular article, the news story that caught my attention, uh, was actually to do with Pluto and Ultima Thule. Uh, now what's interesting is that when we look at a lot of the images of Pluto and compare those to the Moon, one thing that kind of is quite striking is the, the amount of meteor strikes that the Moon has in comparison to Pluto. And indeed, what these astronomers did is they did a, um, a survey of all of the photos and they noted that there was a distinct lack of small craters on Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, indicating that, that fewer asteroids zoomed through the Kuiper Belt. Now, this information in turn implies that collisions way out there are very, very rare um, compared to in the inner solar system. The, the problem is that these results are at odds with the models based on the situation in the inner solar system. Small uh, bodies are relatively common uh, around Earth because of obviously we, we are situated inside of the asteroid belt. This in turn then implies that these objects, Pluto and Ultima Thule, are therefore uh, a pristine primordial uh, relic which can tell us so much about the early solar system. And next up we return to Mars where the findings just keep rolling in. Uh, this time ESA have revealed new findings from the Mars Express Orbiter um, which indicate that there are interconnected lakes underneath the surface of Mars. Now these are now dried up so they don't see that there is water in there but there is evidence to suggest that they once harboured water but not only that but the researchers behind the discovery writing in the journal of geophysical research revealed that five of these dead lakes beneath the planet's surface may have contained the minerals crucial to the development of life and finally Tabby Star is back in the news. It was first discovered about three and a half years ago and astronomers were struck by the way the brightness fluctuated at what appeared to be like a random pattern. Explanations for the cause of this range from a very large number of comets orbiting the star um, to uh, one of the inner planets potentially being broken up and these chunks blocking parts of the light. But by far the theory that caught the most interest was the one which implied that there was a, a large alien megastructure around the star designed to harness its energy. Now the story has become even stranger as new reports indicate that in fact the, the light that we're receiving it is not just being blocked but specific colours are being blocked by different intensities and therefore Whatever is passing between us and the star is not opaque and we would expect from any of the, the preceding theories, so if it was a broken up planet or if it was an alien megastructure, we would not expect uh, to see those results. Now interestingly one team of astronomers from Princeton have been looking at a totally alternative idea which could fit in with this idea of, of uh, different colors being blocked and they are actually scanning the images for any signs of laser signals being used uh, from extraterrestrial civilizations. And that brings us to the end of the news stories for this week. I, I hope you found it informative. As always, 
Be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.